Hello world. Mr. Resistor here, continuing our alpha journey. And today is the first day of the Crimson Heart Rest. I don't know anything about this. I feel like it... I don't even remember if it happened last year. But... It is happening now, and so... We shall participate. So, let's see. Select a faction to receive their agency challenges. Tetramon and Blood Raiders. Eh, not really a fan of that look. I guess Tetramon it is then. Uh, the rewards for each faction are equivalent, and you will not be penalized for attacking both sides, so there's no wrong choice. Alright. Sounds good. Crimson Gauntlet Combat Site. Scan down and enter a Crimson Harvest Network node or hub data site. Okay. Well, first things first. We need to get back to heck and get ourselves a new ship. Before we do that, we will go to sort by let's see. Number of jumps. So first we will go here. Then we will go here, and then we will go here. <clears throat> so we've got two Minmatar Frigate 4. That for a minute. Orb drive active. Uh, we got some skill points today. Go ahead and redeem those. Anything else in here? Nope. So what are we training now? Navigation. Good. 95 million-esque. Um, while we're traveling, let's go ahead and take a look here. Um, so it looks like there's some pretty good what is this? Uh, weapon disruptor resistance. Well, okay. Bad time to try out weapon disruptors then. Um, Korax, that's Kaldari, and then Algos is uh, Galente. Now the Talwar is. Omega only with, which is a shame. That's a Minmatar uh, missile destroyer, which I really quite like actually. Um, I got absolutely owned. Uh, one time I tried doing, um, uh, what's it? The, uh, Docking permission requested. Docking Arena request combat thing. Accepted. Whatever they call it. Uh, jumped in with an artillery thrasher. Just got absolutely wrecked by a Talwar. 
guided me. Um, you know, missiles just have such good range, especially if you've got your skills up, that there was nothing I could do. Um, so, not my favorite fight, but a good, uh, I guess, example of what that ship is capable of. Uh, so anyway, got some fireworks coming up, a few more skins, if you are Omega, there's some other good stuff in here, skill points, etc. So, and just out of, can I... Okay. That's a real, like, hot rod kind of a skin. I kind of dig that. Not normally, not normally a bright colors kind of a guy, but that does look pretty good. And I bet it'll look good on my tall bar, too. All right, well, anyway, now comes the dangerous part, because we're hauling 31 million isk in a Corvette. Well, here we go. It also occurs to me that since that dude scanned me down in Seaside, that I should remove that spot. He probably didn't bookmark it, but we can't say for sure, can we? So, better safe than sorry. drive active.
Oh yeah, so anyway, I uh Orb drive active. I did look up my fight last time on Z Killboard, and it does look like he died. Which would mean that he didn't get any of that salvage. Which I mean, on the one hand, good. But on the other hand, you know, it's a shame that it all went to waste. So, yeah, hard to say how I feel about that. Warp drive active. Ooh. Rare Storm is 85% contested. <clears throat> Got Tetramon. Dark Blood Gauntlet. Enter a crimson gauntlet. So, what does that mean? Tetramon. Try a crimson garlic. Gauntlet. Crimson garlic. Oh, <laughs> drive. I'm tired Active. today. But things are going good at work. Uh, we released new content this week. It seems to be well received. And, uh, you know, so everyone's in good spirits and. Had our bi weekly happy hour, which is always a good time. Right, it's always nice when uh, drive active. the people you work with are actually fun to hang out with also. Uh, you know, granted, it's, uh, it's through video chat, but still, they're a fun bunch of people. And honestly, I think it's kind of remarkable um, that they've managed to build that kind of culture. It's really, um, you know, as a as a contractor, um, I get to experience probably two to three times as many different companies as um, I would if I had. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm tempted to say a real job, but um, drive active. if I were consistently employed by the same company, maybe is a better way to say it. Um, and, you know, you hear all these stories about the game industry and, you know, brutal death march schedules and crazy overtime and stuff and I have to say that I have not seen that now granted the work I do means I'm usually there at the beginning of the project not the end so you know maybe I've just gotten uh, lucky in that regard but the two teams that I feel like I worked with the closest and longest. Um, the one, the first one where I actually worked on site, 
Um, you know, there I was there. Let's see, there was there was a release of a demo um, for one of the big trade shows. Um, so that was a big thing, and there was a little bit of push for that, but that was for like a week, you know. And uh, other than that, I mean, I actually saw the the production manager go around and tell people to go home if they were there after like 5.30. So, um, drive active. he was a good dude. Um, you know, and then, and then this team, uh, definitely more integrated into this team than I have been, um, really in any other project except for the one I just mentioned. And, uh, and yeah, uh, you know, they seem to, I think, I, I think this is, since I generally work remote, um, and I have been for, well, really my whole career as a, as a programmer, although I had, I had an office the first few years where the, accepted. the company that I subcontract for had an office, I should say, and I worked there, but you know, the, the customer that I was, or the client, it's maybe a better way to say it, um, was elsewhere um you know and uh oh yeah not here I need to go turn it in at the thing right all right Anyway, I was hoping to get a little more information out of this thing, but uh, there isn't any, so, um, yeah. Orb drive active. see any of our orange friends over here. That would be really annoying if someone were to camp this site. Alright, how did this work again? I feel like I'm missing something. What am I doing right here? No. That's not what I'm looking for. What is going on here? They're not a... What is going on? Am I going crazy?
Where did it go? What am I doing? There. Okay. Oh. Right. The setup. Looks like a Kaldari station with a Minmatar paint job. Wonder if it is. That'd be funny. We finally figured that out. But also, what the hell is up with that gigantic customs request office? Accepted. Like. No, man. Okay, so we're up to eleven hundred LP. All right, so we need one hundred twenty-five of those. We have sixty, so we're Almost halfway there. Cyclone, is that a cruiser? Battle cruiser. Out of our range, I think. I mean, I, we might be able to train it into a battle cruiser just barely, but not enough to make it worthwhile. Yeah, that's a good use of our points, I think. the heck then we'll see what holes we've got I don't remember what we have available 
warp drive active. I continue to be amazed by the speed of my new internet. By far the fastest I've ever had access to anywhere. It's honestly okay. kind of ridiculous. Okay. Um, and I mean, I did pay for the highest tier, which I seem to actually be receiving, which pleasant surprise in a small town like this. Um, but the upload speed, actually, used to be To upload one of my longer videos, especially when I got after I got the new monitor, we're looking at like three hours. Now we're looking at 35 40 minutes. So, so yeah, I should be caught up with those pretty quickly. And, uh, so be, there'll be a lot of, like, buffer and stuff, but, you know, maybe being closer like that, I can start, uh, posting fits, um, that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if if you want me to post fits, um, let me know, and Docking permission requested. I'll be happy to start doing that. I mean, I guess even on older videos, I probably have to go back and look, like rewatch the video or something to, to figure out what the fit was. But um, yeah, if there's any there's any questions about that if you want you know links to anything that I talked about or whatever just just ask I'm happy to provide all right so what do we have we have another probe so we'll go ahead and assemble that. And we can trash this. We can ensure this. And uh Let's go ahead and do we need to change anything about this fit? I feel like this is not doing much for us. That we might be better served by a drone module. Uh, 
Let's see. I like the damage amplifier. Let's see. T1. T8 and a half. K is only 52. So let's go ahead and go with that. Um, actually, maybe I should make sure that I don't have... One of the T1's already in here, I feel like that. No. Okay. Puts us up to 42 DPS. Anything else? Our control range is 35. Our targeting range is 37. So that's probably fine. We could put a... Um, there's a high slot drone, yeah, drone link augmenter. I don't think there's much advantage to us in, in doing that, though. I mean, it allows us to be farther away, but we'd be out of targeting range, so I don't know how much that actually helps. Other thing we could do, of course, is replace the cap booster with a tracking link. Uh, our cap is so low, though. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Alright, well. And then we do have some... Yeah. No, I don't think I'm gonna... We'll stick with the cap booster for now. Save as. Or V2. Oh yeah. Rakes. What do we got? Gravity capacitor. That's... Scan probe strength. <clears throat> Control range. Durability. Uh, does scope chip do? Drones optimal range. Yeah. 
Speed. Yeah, light runs are already pretty fast. I think we'll go with the control range. Alright. Real V2. Yes. Okay. Bid it. I only bought one of these, didn't I? They're getting expensive. I should start producing some. Alright. So before we jump over there, let's check our Sold very much stuff. But we did sell our ammo. So that's something.
So let's see how much we've got. Thousand rounds of EMP, ten thousand of projectile or um, face plasma, I mean. All right, so we research the EMP. Use some fusion. Let's see if we need two hundred and sixteen. Sixty-six, I guess, actually. Docking request accepted. So, let's see if we can't find ourselves one of these network nodes. If I was a smarter man, I would have looked this up while we were traveling, but I'm not, so I didn't. Uh, 
Coming ground, special. Uh, no information about combat or hacking. Player T1 frigate. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I'll try the proving grounds in this one. Could be fun. <laughs> Player ship explosions will have an increased loot drop rate with an average of 90% compared to the normal average 50%. Okay, so the university has very little info. Oh, last year it was called Halloween Horrors. That's probably why I don't remember it. <clears throat> okay. Something on WordPress? I don't know what this is. Okay, do do do. Uh, and it says basically nothing. All right, no info. But we did see a few of the combat sites and it Maybe it's reasonable to guess that systems with the combat sites also have the hacking sites. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we should look at the patch notes. That's probably a more reliable source. Do do do. High sec, low sec, null sec, and W space belonging to the opposing forces of the Blood Raider Covenant and the Order of Saint Tetramon. Saint Gauntlet and Tetramon base command sites. Uh, capsuleers are advised to fly a battle cruiser, battleship, heavy assault cruiser, or even more powerful vessels if they wish to investigate these locations. So, <clears throat> we might enter one of the combat sites, but we are not going to try and fight it. Rewards for looting the battleship NPCs found at the end of the sites include items that can be traded for ish, skins, boosters, clothing, and more. Crimson Harvest Network Node and Tetramon Network Node data sites are also appearing across New Eden. These hacking sites contain network node structure that can be accessed for more great rewards. Blood Razors are capitalizing on the chaos erupting from the intense fighting over the ownership and research of the Stellar Harvesters and are setting up more advanced bases in the war zone. Ah, okay. <clears throat> Tetramon loyalists are also deploying in the area to match their forces. These advanced versions of the combat and hacking sites can only be found within the areas containing the most heated fighting between Blood Raider and Tetramon forces, the Blood Raider controlled systems within the Delve region and within the Ugidi 
angles, and head constellations. These advanced sites are rarer and more challenging than the standard versions of the sites, but they provide much greater rewards. Bringing a friend or two helps reduce the risk immensely. But beware of other capsuleers who may be searching for the same loot. The most elusive and valuable strongholds of the Blood Raiders and the Order of the Tetramon can only be found by obtaining a rare escalation from the advanced combat sites. Be on the lookout for Blood Raider altars. These highly dangerous brand new combat sites are designed for a dreadnought or a fleet of multiple capsuleers to complete. Wow. I wonder if those will be a uh, more permanent addition. That would be cool. Not relevant to me right now, but that might be worth um, actually trying to hook up with fleets and do something. Explosions, let's see, themed epistle proving ground. Start on the 28th. Four player T1 frigate. <coughs> Meta zero, free for all. Special set of bonuses to web of fire range, energy warfare strength, and turret damage. signatures and system. Ah, that's a school system, though. Or a, a career agent system, I guess I should say. Zedaldic. Hagler. Try this, see what we find.
This is weird. Okay. that drive active.
warp drive active. Really? That's annoying. Definitely gonna have competition for these sites, so um, the farther away from Trade Hub we get, the better luck we're likely to have.
but still worth checking close to home, I think. Just in case. This one is not a data site, then I think I will hit the ast asteroid bounce really quick to see if we can't kill ourselves a rat for our points and then call it a day. If this does turn out to be one, maybe it'll be the same. Plus some hacking. Although we are over an hour already. So, probably for the best. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh. Drive active. <coughs> Still gonna take me some time to get used to this new setup. Okay, no rats here. Warp drive active. This is a point nine system, of course, so maybe it would be best to move on to one of the next ones. Let's try this one. Warp drive active. Yeah, I think, let's see. We got, got heck, Lustrevic. Pator, Blat, and Obra. Oh, high sec. But if I remember correctly, on the other side of Vulat is Aram, which is okay. like point six or point seven. <laughs> Definitely get some rats there. Or maybe Bullet will have a hideaway and we can just do that instead. Drone collection. That'll do. Warp drive active.
Add a little bit of hot drone on drone action. So I guess also let me know if the game volume is too quiet. Um, I did turn it down <clears throat> the other day because um, it seemed overwhelming. I discovered that my PC volume had gotten turned up to 90% when I normally have it at about 25. So that probably had something to do with it. Um, but yeah, in case it's, it seems too quiet now, let me know. Does not seem like a good idea to not be able to see enemies in your overview at any point. I don't care what you're doing. That seems like a bad setup. That said, I do feel like this setup is kind of meant for like large fleet PVP. So, you know, maybe there's an argument there. Although I would argue maybe there's less of an argument there um, if you're talking about uh, NPC ships.
Zero. What does meta zero mean? Uh, okay. Yeah. Tech one manufactured. All right. Cool. Alrighty. Web drive active. Well, we are way over time, so. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. We are going to call it a day. And. As soon as we're docked up. If, there we go. Alright, so. Until next time. Have a good one.